going on? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Mike, a.k.a. Barabo. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're a fan of the channel and you're a B-back, welcome back. You know, this has been quite an interesting journey uh, starting a YouTube channel and and we're just having a, a ton of fun with it. We love riding. I'm out solo right now. I'm running to a meeting at a dealership, car dealership, specifically a Kia dealership. Where a friend of mine works. childhood friend, a very, very, very good friend of mine. He actually sent me a link this morning saying, uh, when's this from? And it was the video of me getting handcuffed right up here at this intersection. And it was on Moss, Moss Face uh, channel. So I called him and I, I told him when it was from and encouraged him to I gave him like the cliff notes, right? Like yo, sitting out of light dude and fucking that shit. That shit happened. So anyway, uh, here's here's what we're uh, here's what we're covering today. What we're covering today is what I do, the methods that I've developed. It's not rocket science, it's nothing new. But uh, downshifting. Let's talk downshifting, like right here. Rev match. So downshifting is is a very, very important technique that every rider needs to know how to do. Well, why do we need to know how to downshift, Bravo? You need to know how to downshift for a number of reasons, like, oh, I don't know, stopping, slowing down, and putting the, putting the bike in the optimal RPM range. Like, could I be in first gear here right now? Yeah. Do I... Do I need to be? I got a bunch of cars, a tractor trailer ahead. I'm not gonna see what's happening. People are getting onto the highway. I'm gonna let them do that. So I don't need to be romping right now. Look at debris. Gotta stay, gotta stay alert out here. That's just a side note. not an ideal position, not where I want to be. I don't even want to be here. Check my... That's a little better. So keeping the bike in that, that ideal, that optimal RPM range, you know, right now, I could be in third gear which would give me the ability to pick up speed a little bit faster. And if I was downshifting into third, right, it would look something like this. Okay. So when I'm on the highway, I'm, if you if you watch my videos, like I'm covering this clutch when I think I might need it. It's also a little bit of a habit I probably cover. It's just like a comfort thing. I don't know if that's from the back in the day uh, wheelie shit or 
or if it's just something I developed more recently, but last year and this year I, I did notice that I would be covering my clutch and that gives me the ability to, to click that gear down, right? Drop a gear and disappear, I think is the cliche. So that just saves you a little bit of time when you're covered up. Also right here, I, I may need to stop. I may need to slow down. I got this traffic and you know, I'm gonna keep a safe travel distance from the vehicle ahead of me. So I still have time to react if there were to be like a road, roadborne hazard, you know, some shit in the road. seen all sorts of shit in the road you know straps seem to be the most common I don't know if you would agree with that or not drop in the comments like what type of shit have you seen in the road when you're out riding but those straps man I don't know what's happening to the shit they have strapped down when they're losing straps like and some of them are fucking huge like really really big buckles and I'm always worried about hitting the buckle or having that buckle kick up and get tangled and then tangle the strap in my drivetrain. So we'll get into some more downshift and we're going to get over using our hand signals. All right, left arm up 90 degrees. Well, I guess out, away from your body, perpendicular to your body, and then bent at the elbow 90 degrees. That's your, your right hand signal. All right, do y'all know your, uh, your turn signals, what your, your left? Now, if you don't, you should. You're supposed to know them. If you're out here riding, even if you're on your permit. All right, let's set up take this on the outside and then downshift for the turn okay now I'm set up does this guy even see me thanks buddy so downshifting at the right time to set up for your turn yeah that's a whole other technique of downshifting aside from stopping. So I'm I'm trying to cover, I don't want to make a blanket statement and say, you know, learn downshifting and this is how you do it. You're gonna find what works for you. I'm giving you that high level concepts and application situations or scenarios of when you may need to downshift. There's, that's a good rev match. I missed one. Had to just take a pause and what are they doing here? Yeah, we lucked out. There, we'll click up just so we can go back down. Well, bump. Ready? Rev match, progressive brake, and we're stopped, right? Boom. Just like that. It's easy. And it's necessary, okay? You don't want to be in a situation where you're trying to stop quick. And I've seen this. I've witnessed it. with new riders and our group almost colliding into Bridget, but they got nervous. A car, see, no rev match, and that's jerky. That, that, that's how, that's how you're gonna fucking break that back tire loose. If your tire's not warm, road conditions aren't favorable, and you just, you don't rev match, it's gonna, it's gonna have to catch up to those R's. 
and that's going to put uh, just all of that resistance to the rear wheel, which could cause it to break loose. But what I was saying is pulling the clutch in. In a situation where you're trying to stop fast and people are squeezing out, right? Both hands, they're like, oh shit. No, no, no. Downshift, okay? You want to downshift, match those R's, and that's how you're going to stay safe. So here we are at the dealership. It's a pretty nice dealership. And I'll tell you what, man, these Kias, what? They're fire, man. These are some nice vehicles. They look sexy. They got all the technology. They got all the safety. They're just, they're pretty badass. Shit, I usually park over in there. Oh, that's my boy's whip right there, I think. Hmm. Where are we gonna park today? Where are we going to park today? Maybe over here? Oh, look at this. Perfect. Perfecto. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching the the downshift. I, I hope I covered some points, gave you some things to think about and work on. Go hit the parking lot. Go hit the go hit the streets, and practice, 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 practice the rev match. And remember, when you're out there, you don't your clutch doesn't need to come in all the way. You know where your friction zone is, right? A downshift can be just right there. That's all you need. A half a throw. But you know your bike better than me. I know this bike, and that's about all I need. Maybe a third of uh, throw. Something like that. All right. Well, again, thanks for watching. It's your boy, Bravo. I'll catch you on the flip side. Catch you on the next one. If you're out there riding, two wheels down, shiny side up. Peace.